You know, the last time I made an antivirus tier list on this channel, I was threatened with lawsuits. Well, we're doing it again. Nico knows tech. All your tech tips and reviews on deck. Nico knows tech. Number one channel with the news on check. This letter is from Ziff Davis, the parent company of PC Magazine. Nico, it has come to our attention that you have posted the following defamatory video in relation to the PC Mag review process. The video titled Best Antivirus 2024 Tier List, Top Antivirus, Blase Blase, PC Mag is a publication started over 42 years ago and is owned and operated by Ziff Davis. Our commitment to unbiased and thorough evaluations of antivirus products is paramount and we take any insinuations to the contrary seriously. It has come to our attention that certain statements made in the above video question the credibility of our review process. These statements are unfounded and defamatory, but who would dare question the credibility of a magazine or website that puts Norton and McAfee in the top 10 every single time? I wouldn't. Would you? Now, without any further ado or interference from big tech, we're gonna go ahead and get started with this tier list. On the left, you'll see our different tiers, S, A, B, C, and D. B tier is gonna be the baseline. This'll be good products, average. So we're gonna go ahead and put Defender there because that already comes with your Windows PC and it is actually good. Not great, but it's not bad either. It's average. Below that in the C tier is going to be below average. So it'll either be lower performance or have some kind of caveat that makes it not a good value, especially if it's a paid product. Then in the D tier is going to be for seriously poor performing products, things that I recommend that you uninstall or do not install. In the A tier is going to be above average or very good. And then in the S tier is products that I think are absolutely perfect or the best you can get. Also something that you have to consider, I'm not gonna recommend something that is necessarily a superior product if I don't think it's a good value. If it's overpriced, then it's definitely not S tier. It could be very good, but S tier is gonna be the perfect product, perfect value, perfect security, everything is good words about it. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with Sophos. Sophos is a popular program. They actually make several uh, cybersecurity products, including Hitman Pro, and I would definitely put them in the A tier as very good, better than Defender, but not a perfect product. I've used Sophos in the past, and I've had above average results, but nothing to write home about. <clears throat> Next, we're gonna go to Webroot. Webroot, I typically in the late 2000s and early 2010s, I would have said that they are S tier. I would say they are about average. They're not bad, they're good. They're a good product, but they're not really above average. There's a lot of products in this category that are good, but not great. Same thing with Avast. Avast, I'm actually normally would put in the B tier or A tier along with, uh, with AVG. I actually have AVG here, duh, because they're actually the same company now. Avast bought AVG, so they share technology. And normally I would have AVG here or here, as well as Avast in A tier. But unfortunately, these guys, especially Avast, got sued for $15 million uh, for selling customer data. So they're having some problems and maybe they're a good product, but due to their privacy issues and some scandals they have in their company, they're going in the C tier. Sorry, I've asked, get better, and then you'll get reviewed possibly uh, better than you are today. That's just the way things are. Uh, Kaspersky. Kaspersky, I would put in the S tier, but there's a problem with Kaspersky right now. Kaspersky is banned in the United States, so due to lack of availability, I'm not gonna comment on the allegations. There's allegations that Kaspersky has some inappropriate relationship with the Russian Federation. I don't know, and I'm not going to take some government's word for it, but the United States under the Biden administration banned Kaspersky in the United States, and several other countries have honda hopped on that bandwagon, so I can't put them on S tier because that's not a perfection, that's a problem, and hopefully things get better because their protection is actually really darn good. Next, Total AV. A lot's been talked about with Total AV, and I would say that their protection is in between A tier and S tier, but the problem is, is it's expensive. It is $100 a year, and for that, it's in B tier. It's probably protection is in the A tier. If you already have it, fine, great. Their protection is really good, but they are not a good value. 
If you're a hundred dollars, I mean, most of these products, even ESET's um, pr uh, premier product is around $70. So a hundred dollars, you need to be one of the best on the planet in order to justify that price. Avira, Avira is also the engine for F secure. I would say they are above average in protection, priced reasonably. Their engine is used in many things. They have to go in A tier. Malware bites, malware bites, protection wise used to be S tier is probably an A tier, but due to, you know, I really like malware bites. I know a lot of you guys, you ITs and, and computer savvy people really want this to be an A tier, but this is a Ram hog. Mm, you know what? It can be tuned by a professional to not be such a Ram hog in the settings, but if you have everything turned on, all the settings, everything, it will be, it'll, it'll drag down your system. This is a tough one. I'm going to put it in A tier can make you guys happy. It is very good protection. It's priced reasonably well. It's not overpriced. It does slow your machine down, so I'm definitely not giving it S tier, even though it's it's really darn good. It's not perfect. Panda, below average. Um, you know what? These guys used to be really good. I'm gonna put them right here at this tier. They're not bad. You know what? B tier. Panda's not bad. I would say maybe it's even slightly better than Defender. It's not better than Webroot, definitely not better than Total AV, but it's better than Avast and AVG right now. Next we have Aura. Aura is actually, uh, this is not really an antivirus suite per se, but a lot of people keep asking me about it. This is actually a company that, that sponsors my content a lot. Um, they have an antivirus product inside. So when you sign up for Aura, um, you also get their antivirus and their VPN. Their antivirus, is doesn't have a lot of features, but it's very strong protection. So I can't call them B tier. They don't have many features, so I'm not gonna call them S tier. They're just an antivirus, but their protection rates are very high up with like the top 10 in the world. Um, they've clearly put a lot of money at it. So they're gonna go in A tier. I'd like to see them put more into their AV suite, but they're more of an identity protection, credit protection, privacy kind of minded thing uh, than an antivirus. They also include an antivirus and a VPN but neither their antivirus or their VPN is the best in the world, I would say, but it's actually surprising. Uh, Bitdefender, S tier. Um, these are in between A and S tier. Bitdefender is actually really good, and it's one of the things that PC Magazine gets right. Of course, everyone says Bitdefender is fantastic. The only thing I don't like about Bitdefender is that they are only a consumer product. Now, most of you guys, if you're only consumers and you're not using your AV or your anti-malware for business, then it's not a problem. and But they just don't even have a an enterprise product that's just for businesses and servers. I mean, even Avast has uh, enterprise products, Webroot, um, Trend Micro, which should be up here. Trend Micro would be B tier also. I forgot to get the logo here, but Trend Micro with Webroot, I consider them very similar and they're usually sold in the same stores at the same time. Um, but I'm gonna put a mess here because they're, they're really good. McAfee, D tier not second place, not third place, definitely not first place. Protection wise, not great. I don't care what tests you use. If you are using tests for your top antivirus, and I don't care how unbiased or how thorough they are, if your test is resulting in this being in the top, then your test is flawed. Because if we were to calculate the number of people that are using McAfee, being a large majority of new computer owners and then calculate the amount of them that are infected with viruses, I would go off those metrics and that kind of math instead of what your silly test came up with. Because I think you're harming people. If you want to sue me over that, let's do it. I want this to go on public record. Let's see how well you want to defend that. And let's talk about your business too. Norton, D tier. Now, why are these two always in the D tier for me? Well, their main business model is preloading their software on the new PCs and making their software so notoriously difficult to uninstall. In order to avoid lawsuit, I assume, these companies make a dedicated McAfee and Norton removal tool, which will uninstall the, the Norton and McAfee stuff because it doesn't want to uninstall. They don't want you to uninstall it. They want it preloaded. A lot of companies want their stuff preloaded, but that's where this guy's business model is. Now, I know some of you guys in the government know that McAfee makes an enterprise product that's a different product altogether and that's not accessible to most of us. So the product that is on some government machines is different and I would say it's better. 
I'm not going to write home about how great McAfee is. I don't care how many government computers. ESET. I know you guys are going to hate me for this, but I don't run ESET just because um, I have a partnership with them. I picked them. I've been trying to get their attention and they don't like to work with YouTubers historically. It's kind of a new thing. They're working with me and I still have whatever deal these guys would give me. Where if I sell any of these, which I do links in the description to help out the channel, but you don't have to use any of my links. You can go direct and cut me out of every deal and pick whatever you want. That's the beauty of being a consumer is your freedom. You watching my video doesn't mean you owe me money. Doesn't mean you have to use my affiliate links. Do I appreciate it? Sure. Helps, helps keep the bills on, helps me uh, make more of these videos. But why is ESET on the top tier? Well, go figure. I use it. It's fantastic. I'm using the small business security. Smart, sorry, my uh, kid is screaming in the background. But I love them. Doesn't slow down the machine. Superior protection. They don't care about getting into PC Magazine, I don't think. I'm not speaking for them because I don't work for them. Bitdefender, these guys are always great. Kaspersky, please, governments, get your act together. Get Kaspersky up here because it deserves to be here. But if you're American, you're probably not going to get access to it. You know, and I, I really want to make a video about Kaspersky because a lot of people are talking about getting a VPN and then pretending they're in another country, then downloading Kaspersky. Well, you could probably figure out a way to do that, but you're going to have to VPN outside your country to get updates regularly. And then the cloud feature, I don't know how that would work. So, I mean, I really hope they fix that because Kaspersky is a great product. I would like to see Malwarebytes uh, do some better optimization and fix the uh, how their machine their 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 engine slows down machines and these guys will probably they're they're not going away that scandal is going to go away they're going to get better at security and privacy and hopefully they can move past that because the world needs all these guys and they need them all to be good but that's my tier list these guys don't install these guys underperforming these are just okay if you have these then you're great you don't need to change but if you don't have one of these, these are my recommendations. Bitdefender, ESET's my favorite, but I gotta be fair, Bitdefender is darn good too. Um, but ESET has business products. So this is a business product. You can also install this on servers. Um, so that's why it's my favorite. But if somebody gave me a computer Bitdefender, I wouldn't be switching it. Why? Because it's got darn good security. We're all good. Anyway, that's my recommendations. If you don't disagree with me, please tell me in the comment section. I'm not the only authority on this, you know, and, and you guys' opinion matters a lot. Last time you guys commented about how I rated F-Secure higher than Avira, and it was very smart because Avira is actually the engine for F-Secure, so I did kind of make a boo-boo there. So definitely let me know if you and call me out on whatever you think I uh, missed the bar on here. I appreciate it. You help me be a better content creator, and for that, I love you.